Well, welcome back. It's the wings of the CX Mini Res. So, the, uh, there's a lot of bolts in this, and the things we're going to need are... These are the pieces that we're going to need for the wing. So we're going to need these two spars. Little tip, just make sure that you've gone all the way around these and everything is released because um, there's a lot of interstitial cutting and it'd be very easy to break. So just be very careful getting it out. So those, those two here. And to start off with, we're just going to need, on the left and right hand sides, ribs one to six. So that's one to six here and one to six here. Okay, so we now have our spar out and we're going to start from number one. Do not cut these little lugs off at the moment. So the idea is, is that these are going to fit into here um, like so. And what you want to make sure is that everyone is fitting flush. I'm going to very gently just work my way along. If there's any resistance, I'm just going to use this little nail file, but I suspect they're all going to drop in quite nicely. Just don't push down on the bench at the moment on these ribs because because of these lugs, you will end up breaking the ribs. Okay, something worth noting just at the start. Um, it's where rib number two goes. There's a little step in the spar, so let me just take this out and show you. Can you see that? There's a step. Let me get that right for you. Oh, there you go. There's a step there, and they make a specific point of showing you that the rib has to sit like so, because I imagine what's going to happen is that's how it sits like that there because this is obviously this little inner piece is going to get sheeted and that's to allow for the sheeting so just something to be aware of so I have got all those ribs in place and sorted out that little step so basically what you want to do is make sure all these ribs along here just make sure that they're all fitting flush on the bottom spar and then just where you've got that little step down, just make sure you've got that sorted as well. Um, I'm just checking that, that looks all fine. Now, anyway, so the next thing is we're gonna need this spar. And my advice is I would just gently offer it in place. Do not try and fit this down on the bench. You're just gonna smash all the ribs off. So my advice is to try and do this with it in your hand because otherwise it's going to get um, there's going to be tears and if you meet any resistance whatsoever stop and find out why you've got some resistance I've got one rib number one on the right hand side is sticking so I'm going to take this off again and I'm just going to ease that because I don't want to break it Okay, so we've got to this stage. Um, a little note here, and I will. I am going to make a note right at the start of this build. This is not glued at the moment. They are these ribs. I've not glued in place. There's no indication on the pictures of gluing. And um, the next stage in the pictures is for me to get this trailing edge out, which is uh, this bit here. I'm going to cut this out, and then we're going to go on to the next procedure because I think the idea is, is that we actually get the trailing edge in position with it hanging over the bench in some sort of way get everything squared and then we can start adding a little bit of cyano I'll be honest I would have ideally liked to have glued these with alphatic resin and then dropped it all over but it's just my alphatic PVA or PVA glue but my worry is it would all go off so um, I'm just going to cut this out and then I'm going to go through the procedure of getting this all square Okay, so we've got our basic frame. I have not done any gluing at the moment. Um, just make, make sure that everything is seated down square. Make the note about um, rib two. Now, in the pictures, it shows the wing being dropped onto the end of the bench like so. And what I've done is I started off with a foot ruler 
just to hold it in place like so but I found that that wasn't actually enough so what I did was I then got myself a meter ruler and then I then pop that across there there we go being as gentle as possible now the idea is I then cut out the long trailing edge and this then fits into here now what I've noted is the ruler actually doesn't it doesn't get it to roll over enough so what I've done is I have just and this is just my technique I'm not saying this is the right technique but this is how I work my way around it and I would just pop those on like so and typically now I'm, I've had these on here once now all of a sudden they don't want to play ball there we go so we're going to get that in place I think the idea is looking at these pictures that basically we have to get this trailing edge flat like so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my ruler along here um, with some weights like so uh, when it's all down then I'm going to glue the trailing edge if I'm ha then I'm happy with it what I'm going to actually do is I'm just going to drop a little bit of Sino in between all of these wing joints just to hold it in place and um, I'm I'm assuming looking at those pictures and having a dry run this is the best way of doing it I might be proved wrong um, but only time will tell so I fixed the trailing edge uh, I've lifted it off the bench and I've now sat it back down making sure that all of these are sitting nice and square and it's all sitting down firmly I've got none of these little tags are lifting off anywhere now what I'm going to very gently do with a bit of Sino on one of these I'm just going to wick a bit of glue in all of these joints what I think I might do is just do the front ones make sure that it's all uh, glued then just lift it off I've just put a bit of um, tape on here just in case I get a little bit of wick through but um, that's how I'm going to finish off this main section okay so that's the basic wing done so let me just run through what I did um, once I'd actually just tacked all these spars uh, in the front uh, just wicked a tiny little bit of um, CA in every one just to hold it in place I then just left it with the weights on just to bed down it's all you can see it sits down nice and square um, so the next thing um, I did was once it was dry I then lifted it off and then with a, a little bit more glue I just went through every joint now just a little tip make sure you don't get any of the uh, glue on the leading edges here of the ribs because obviously we're going to have to do some sheeting and it's going to spoil your day if you've got some um, glue on there so that's the basic main structure done we're going to put that away somewhere safe um, making sure that nothing can fall on it so the next things we're going to need you're going to need these two longer trailing edges you're going to need um, these trade these leading edge spars that have got the, the, the tapered down them and then we're going to need um, a few more ribs so I'll talk you through that in the next stage right so we've got ribs 7 to 14 We've got our tapered spar and these drop in now I don't know whether there's an error with the pitches but I ended up doing that and realizing that's not right it's got to go the spar drops down onto rib 7 like so and you want the front notch so they actually go in there like so exactly the same way as we built the uh, main wing so these are all going to get dropped into here and then I'm going to do exactly the same process with the trailing edge is I'm going to get the trailing edge sorted I'm going to invert the wing get it glued and that's going to pop on there like so so they are basically that's what you're looking for making sure that the ribs are all flush at the bottom like so because you can see actually that there's going to be some sheeting to go on so you want the rib to finish 
just where it gets flat so let me just show you there can you see there's a little step so you really want you don't want to be pushing the spar any further forward than that because this is going to have some sheeting on it so that's them in their correct orientation if I can just show you that there you see this little there's a little step there and this this bit here is going to get sheeted at some stage so I'm going to drop that on there like so and then I think I'm going to do the same technique I'm going to invert that get it all square and then pop the trailing edge in like so but I will talk you through it when I've come up with a plan but I think I'm going to use the same weight technique as the last time so there you go that was my technique let me just show you what I did um, oh, little top tip here I got a little bit of silicon spray and I just sprayed this bit of tape, polished it up. So all I've done is I inverted it, slotted them all in place, got them fitting down nicely, just used a ruler about here just to get it all level. So obviously I'm using alphatic glue, the glue hadn't completely gone off. You might have to cheat just a little bit and use a little bit of Sino just to keep them in place. And then the moment I was happy with the position, I folded it over like so, well not folded but rolled it over and I just dropped that on there so it's sitting on all the pegs and then I've just checked the height all the way along the trailing edge to make sure it's all the same. Um, so I've got another one of those to do and then we'll be on to the next, the very tip sections but put this away somewhere safe until it's dry. Right, so we're looking now for ribs 15, 16, 17 and cutting out this uh, V-spar as well. Okay, so I've cut out uh, this final little spar. You'll notice that it tapers and we're looking to put the ribs onto the bit of the taper. So the idea is, is that 15 is going to go on there like so, but you'll note it says in the instructions that actually what you want to do is make sure you've got that gap so the lot not the, the so the square side not this tapered side you actually want this gap here I have no reason for what at the moment but that's what they're telling you to do so it's that there and then we're going to put that one on there now this one has got no trailing edge at the moment I'm just going to put that on there like so and the idea is that fits together like so. We just make sure that you've got the gap at the end. So for the final tip, um, the tip sections, you've just got to cut these two out. And then the idea is the same as the main and the outer panels. These are going to drop into here like so and get glued. I'm going to do this in exactly the same process as before flip them over, tack it, flip it back and then glue it all together. Just remember this gap here. Right folks, so um, basic wing. I've done the main panel. I've done the two outer main panels. We've done the tip panels. Um, I'm going to call it a day for this video because otherwise when I start getting into doing the sheeting, the blocking out, the wing tips and everything else. So I think we're going to call this wing building part A. <laughs> because uh, to be honest, I want all this just to glue and harden overnight. And uh, I'll see you for the next video. We'll be doing all the sort of superficial stuff to the wings like some infilling in the main centre, some wing sheeting, doing the tips. And, and actually joining all the wings together. Anyway, we're cracking on, it's going well, and I'll see you soon.